I feel like I, I've just been conditioned for to have a short memory. You know, you win, you lose, you move forward. You know, even when you win, you need to have a short memory and move forward and be able to prepare for the next next uh, competition, the next fight. You know, so that's just how I've been conditioned throughout my life of playing football, wrestling, anything, being able to have a short memory and move forward. You know, so break him down for me. Where is he the most dangerous to you? And then conversely. What are you bringing to the table that he might not realize that you have? Yeah, I think I, a lot of people pay attention to his ground game a lot, you know, but I think his striking is very high level, more Thai striking, and I think a lot of people uh, tend to overlook that, you know. And, um, I think those that's the area where I have to be most concerned, you know, because if you get too comfortable thinking about his ground game, you might trying to put you out on your feet because he's maybe he's been developing that area and now. Uh, he's using his ground game as a distraction for you to hold back and wait and wait and wait. And all of a sudden, he's pushing offense. He's eating up the cage, and now he's laying, laying hands on you, you know. So uh, that's definitely an area where I've been focused on a, a little bit more than his ground game. So uh, for me, my strategy is to go out there and be a complete mixed martial arts fighter. Beat him in mixed martial arts. It's flat out it. Don't think about what his strengths are. Don't think about what, uh, what areas where he's... Uh, won most of his fights. Don't think about that. Just go out there and beat this guy in mixed martial arts and that's what we've approached this as.